That's when I first started watching was this year in like July. Isn't that crazy? I've been having sex for like a while, but I have never watched Why? Today's episode is sponsored by Holy Milk. I've got a test package here. Delicious vegan milk that has no seed or vegetable oil, refined sugar, natural flavors, or non-organic stabilizers. This stuff is delicious. Check out the Holy Milk Instagram to find out where you can purchase Holy Milk in New York City. Here we are on beautiful Jones Street. You saw Jones. You were partying a lot last night. I saw you dancing. Yeah, I went off a little um, bit. We're good. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alejandra. Yeah. 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 Jimenez. Yeah. What's up? How are you? I <laughs> walk. Seeing how many free hands. What's up? Good what to up, see you, homie? sister. Um, so last night we were just uh, we were just discussing. Last night was New Year's, guys. Happy yeah. New Year! Here is that straight up there. Twenty twenty four. Any immediate resolutions or what? I need to get my money up. Oh, let's go. The money's got to come up. Get the paper up. <laughs> I like that. I'm doing terribly. I vomited an Uber last night, so it was $150 charge. Oh, no. I know. But it was on your clothes. It was on the Uber, too? It was on my clothes, but I imagine that there's some residue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happened to me. It was probably around New Year's. The last time I vomited in a cab was probably when I was like... 18 or 19 oh, no. yeah. like 10 ish years ago <laughs> i'm 26 <laughs> but um so how are you feeling now i feel great you feel great yeah i feel good like a new person 2024 vomiting always fixes me up it does help just to get the poison out yeah and it makes you feel so skinny yeah oh. that's true and alcohol is poison i know it is i know unfortunately it's crazy that we're we're drinking and, and i don't ever get drunk like for yeah. this reason, because yeah. I'm a puker. I know this about myself, so I never get drunk. How many drinks did you have last night? I had a lot. I mixed a lot of stuff, too. I yeah. had some Hennessy. Right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> champagne, probably. <laughs> Hennessy. Champagne, Hennessy. Vodka or tequila? Tequila all night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like the different colors that'll mess you up. <laughs> yeah, it was rough, and I didn't eat enough, so it was just... Yeah, was and nice. the thing is, like, if alcohol came out today, just think about how nobody would ever... It would not work today. People would be like, are you kidding me? We're going to put that poison in our body? I know. Why do we yeah. do that? I, I don't, don't know. I mean, I guess it's fun. Did you drink last night? Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, so I was on stage, and for the <laughs> countdown, uh -huh. I had the bottle of champagne, and I was just going to put it to my lips and, like, make it look like I was drinking. Yeah. But when you have the champagne and you open it, it was so bubbly that like, it just freaking spewed all in my mouth, <laughs> and then it was blowing up all over the stage. I was yeah. like, oh. And I didn't eat no. up until that point, like, the entire day. Yeah. So that was the first thing I broke my fast with was a, a champagne. So I had that. Then I came home uh -huh. and, like, uh, 1230 or 1245 and just had two delicious burritos. I was like, that's uh, all I wanted. That's perfect. Yeah. That sounds so nice. I usually now I'm drinking probably, I'd say like once every six weeks or so for a kind of special occasion. Like I won't have one drink anymore. If I'm going to drink, I'll have like three or four for sure. Yeah. I like, I usually drink to get a little tipsy. Yeah. Okay. But I think that, like, okay, this is what's up with the comedy shop, all right? Yeah, Love you guys. It. Yes. But they instigate to get me trashed, and it's not. Well, do you think it was uh, exclusive to New Year's, or you feel like anytime you're there and you're not on stage, you're drinking a lot? Um, I quit <laughs> or the maybe. holiday party and last night. Okay. Yeah. And when I saw you at the holiday party, I don't know if we discuss us being sick, but I had told, did I tell you that I lost like 10 pounds oh, when yeah. I, when I got sick? Dude. Bruh. Sasha, by the way, we were talking shit about you last yeah, night, homie. kid. Sasha, a guy who works at the uh, comedy shop got me sick. And then like yeah. at least four or five other comics got sick. And then the week after, apparently you got sick. I was so fucking oh, sick. Oh my gosh. I was like, I was in my bedroom. I was like, mom, yeah. mom, <laughs> <I know. laughs> legit. And every 30 minutes I was like on the floor in the bathroom. I was like, should I just get like pillows and sheets oh, here? It was I know. awful. You were you puking? I it was, was every color. It yeah, was yellow. Then it was like brown and yellow and brown. And then a little bit came out of the back end, but it was mostly just from the stomach. Sick upwards. puking sucks. Drunk puking the rocks. Worse. Yeah, yeah. Drunk puking. But like I felt... So I lost 10 pounds. Like I just felt my abs just freaking getting shredded oh in there. God. So it was like good afterwards. Cause then yeah. like I gained back like five or six pounds and I was like, all right, I look solid. Healthy, yeah. And then I went to uh, Florida. I just visited my dad in Miami. Yeah. So I was like, get a little sun. Ooh. So hopefully we start off that new year, uh, new bod, right? New bod, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I threw up last night. I'm a little skinty today. Okay. So let's talk about you 
growing up, I don't know where you were born and when you went to high school or where you went to high school rather, but I know that you went to Georgia. So you must be pretty fired up. They smoked Florida State. Yeah, that was I am fired up about that. Florida can suck it. And people were making such a big deal that Florida wasn't in the um, wasn't uh, in the national championship in the four team playoff, right? Yeah, and I'm not normally like a I don't know anything about sports. I just know uh-huh. about Georgia. That's it. Right. Well, that's valid. You guys have a great sports program. I, I brag about it all the time as if Do I you? knew what the fuck I was talking did about. Did you go to tailgates a lot? I did. Yeah. Is that when you were drinking like a lot of Bud Light or yes, what? Yes, a lot. Was White Bud Claw Light. around when you were like oh, senior? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I graduated in 2020. I graduated during the quarantine. Like right in May of that year. So that was a rough. So you were going to graduate in like two months when March came uh-huh. and then you had to go home. Yeah. I remember it being spring break and I was like, fuck yeah, spring break. And then immediately like in oh, the middle no. of it. People- Where were you going? PV? Puerto Vallarta or what? <laughs> no, I wasn't going anywhere. Oh, okay. uh, I'm such a loser. Oh, okay. Well, that's where usually a lot of college kids go to spring break, right? I you, No, I, yeah, Florida, I, I think they do. Panama yeah. Panama Beach. I went to Panama like. City a few times. Oh, okay. And yeah, I, I liked it, but I, that year. I didn't have any money. I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna stay home and like focus on, you know, getting my school work done. I'm a yeah. senior. You wrap my shit up. And then immediately it was like, oh, you're not coming back. Damn. So we never went back to school. Where did you grow up? Atlanta. Out okay. in the suburbs. Do you think that it was harder to get into Georgia because you were an in state resident? Or no? No, it was pretty easy. Well, I was I'm very sure, yeah, good I'm at sure, school. That I was gonna say. I'm yeah. sure you're very smart. I just really I love th- quizzes. And <laughs> tests. Stop. I know. I like to study, like with stand up. It's like I like to read books. Whoa. And I, like to, like, I was gonna do a ask, deep dive. You strike me as a big reader. Yeah. Are you impressed with my collection? I've not read many of those. I I'll believe you, you have. Is this anything? I've read that book so many times. And is I, that Saint Jerry? Saint yeah. Paul? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've looked at that a little bit. What What um, is that thing for dummies over there? Making a woman come for which dummies? One? Hey, <laughs> which one? No, it might, it might be. What is it? When I worked in real estate. Oh, property management. Yeah. Oh, oh it, says, no. it says property management. <laughs> No, that's when I when I worked <laughs> when I worked in uh, real estate. Yeah, I've got some of those books down there. I might need to burn them. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, in real estate, I guess is always good. But I, yeah, I have um, a lot of books that I've just glanced at, and yeah. sometimes when I look at the title of the book, I'm like, all right, that's that's basically all I need. You're like, I, think. I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about unlimited power right there. I feel like I kind of get Tony what Robbins. Is. Yeah, you know about Tony Robbins at all? I've heard. Yeah. Have you ever been to one of them things? No, I haven't. I would love to. Though. When I was in real estate, I went to um, one of those things with my dad, the business mastery. And I just didn't, I just didn't like the topic of conversation and topic of like what we were doing. Maybe yeah. I would have liked those other ones where it's like unleash the beast or unleash the power when you like walk on rocks that are on fire. Yeah, that sounds fresh. That would be cool. I yeah. would do that. I yeah. love that kind of thing. I like um, experiences, you know? Okay, like what? Like what are some of the things that you've done that you're like, yo? Well, I'll do anything <laughs> for an experience. Like okay. even if it sounds like a bad idea, I'm like, but this is like an experience I'm never going to get again. You know okay. what I mean? So like one time I went down an alley that looked kind of scary and I was like, this is going to be an experience. Well, you got to do things that make you scared. Basically. I like to be scary too. <laughs> it's so weird. I really? love scary movies. Like Halloween. You yes. Like love haunted Halloween. houses. Yeah. I bet they have some good ones in Georgia. Oh, haunted houses. That's the experience too. I went to one here. I went to one and um, it was in Fidei and it was fucking crazy. That's too scary for me. I think. Yeah. Heights and haunted houses they, I'm not, and sharks. I don't know. Mice. I think I'm afraid of like You're a lot of things. Of everything. everything like human related, I'm pretty good. <laughs> but like anything that's like maybe too much of an of a thrilling experience, yeah. maybe I bug out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, are You're you a afraid. hiker? Uh, not really. I'm just a freak. I think. What made you want to move to New York? Comedy. Because uh, you had some uh, other jobs. Were those in New York though initially, like talent agent or what? <laughs> so I work. Okay, so. I, in Georgia, after I graduated, I started PAing on TV shows and stuff like that. Nice. It was still filming during the quarantine. Stuff was still happening. It was just awful. It was a bad vibe, but right. it was happening. It was like Georgia and Florida were probably the most loose, I feel like, out of the states. Maybe there were a couple others uh, in th- yeah. that southern ring, but Dude, it was, those are pretty loose. It was like it didn't happen. I was serving tables the entire time. <laughs> By July, I was a waitress at a restaurant. What? So, so just to quickly interject here, what happened from March until... 
I guess May when you graduated, did you take the rest of your classes online? Yeah, they were all online, but it was a fucking joke. It was just, it was, I was so checked out. I had, it was Zoom just came out. Zoom made its debut. It yeah. really had its moment yeah. during that time. And now there's no more Skype. Yeah, no one gives a fuck about Skype. Zoom took over. So we would Zoom in class. I turned my camera off. I'd go to sleep and it was just bad. I completely checked out and then I did not do well in my, in the final time. Did you feel like they were, I, I heard that you were about to say the word. Did you feel like they were scamming you at all a little bit? Kind of, yeah. I was like, this is, you know, I, I pay money for it. I mean, I didn't because I got a scholarship. Right. But. Oh, lit. Mm -hmm. Full? Yeah. Yo. I know. Good for you. Well, in Georgia, they have this thing called a Hope Scholarship, and it paid for literally everything. And I got money back. Wow. I just got chills. That's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but um, did you pay maybe half because you were in state? Correct? No, I didn't have to pay anything. Well, but if you theoretically didn't get one. Oh, yeah, probably. It would have been like instead of what, 60,000, it would have been like 30,000 because yeah. you were in-state. Yeah. I went to UConn and a lot of kids that I went to school with paid that in-state rate yes. when I guess I paid like 40,000-ish. What? That's crazy. And then they paid like 20,000-ish. But that was probably, that was back then, when was that? Like 10-ish years ago? Now yeah. it's probably like 50 or 55,000 oh, out girl. of state too. Yes. You know what it's got to be crazy expensive. Yeah. College is a scam. Unless you're going for like a I think you were probably the last <laughs> graduating class that would think that because you saw like firsthand, you were like, all right, why am I paying for this dorm, paying this online? Like you could just go on YouTube and have a professor teach yeah. you statistics really in a boring I way. I learned, I had to learn calculus on YouTube because my teacher was so fucking bad. Calculus I've, on YouTube? Yes, there's How this girl. How did you lock in? There's right, this ahead. fine ass girl. Let me tell you something. She's fine as hell. And she's we have good a picture for her. Pop her up. Right here. <laughs> Please. I don't remember. I think her name is like I Love Math. I really don't know, but she's so beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. That, that's her username? <laughs> I think so. I don't and remember. And she's on YouTube? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Something okay, like that. It's probably I Love that. Math. I'm just going <laughs> to type in Google hot chick who teaches math. Hopefully yeah. You'll find it. She taught me derivatives like no one else. Just beautiful. Looks like a Russian model. And she's very good at math. And she taught me everything. Because my teacher was such a fucking dick dumbass hated that guy how long was he at the school for he I must don't, have had tenure i have no idea he was young i was like what are you oh, really? doing yeah it was bad so then I, I was an ecology major at that time and they made me take biocalculus and i was like what the fuck is this what is literal what is biocalculus i still don't know what i was doing i have no idea what was going on but let me guess you got an a <laughs> uh yeah I did, you baby. did no i got a b but right. that's, that's close all, enough. Yeah, that's almost an A. That's cool. Math girl that's got me there. there. Yeah, it's e all up to her. Ecology major. So did you want to study like rocks? <laughs> <laughs> what is ecology? <laughs> I wanted to study like space, uh, environment, environmental science. Oh, okay, cool. Like so you care about the environment. I love the environment. I'm vegan. I don't know if you know. Oh my God. That's like a big part of my thing. That's why you look so good. Thank you. I appreciate Yeah, I was going to say you got that sun. You got that yes. skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look great. Cold water, vegan, fasting. I'm trying all the things that people say are healthy for you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but <laughs> anytime I hear something that could potentially be healthy, unless it's <laughs> eating meat and doing something bad to the environment i'll try is that why you don't drink because it's not healthy eh, yeah or yeah. like i'll really tone down on i smoke a lot of pot nice i took a an lot. edible like a little bit ago. yeah yeah did that make you feel better from your hangover too yeah what do you eat when you're hungover um burger burger or bagel this morning yeah. i was craving a bagel so bad yeah that's what happened when i get hung over oh my gosh a bagel's the best thing it's some tofu scallion or some yeah. tofu veggie maybe people would think that that's gross because it's vegan but try it it's so much lighter than the cream cheese and i feel like in the past when i had had cream cheese it just like phlegms up in my chest <laughs> yeah it's pretty gross you know what it's I mean? not a hot look <laughs> well a croissant Oh my God, I love your boots. Thank you. <laughs> Not get any puke on them Those last night. Those are great. Yeah, yeah. They're very shiny. Nice. Yeah, Next yeah. to my black shoes too. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, where are you from? Florida? No, that's where my dad lives. But I'm from here. I grew up in New York City. Oh, nice. So I moved here when I was six weeks old. Oh, damn. So I'm still a Jersey boy at heart. I'll <laughs> take that to the grave for show. But I went to lower school, middle school, high school in New York City. Okay, dope. Yeah. And your dad's in Miami. My dad's in Miami, yes. Nice. What did you do? So I was down there. Um uh for the mo I was down there for three nights, went to a comedy show, or maybe four nights. Yeah, I got in on Tuesday and I left Saturday. Yeah. So went to a comedy show. My dad's girlfriend was down there and we had dinner three nights in a row. I was uh on the beach running, working out. Ah. Uh, it was a night it, and I did a podcast with my dad, which went great. <laughs> yeah. Um, the episode before this, if you guys afterwards check it out, uh, we had a good time. Uh, but yeah, it was mostly just like 
relaxing by working out and doing some things that were I was preparing for last night. I don't know. I feel like I'm never really on full vacation mode. Like I'll take uh, a day off. Like I'm thinking about jokes all the time. I'm thinking about if I'm not writing stand up, let me uh, edit a clip or let me, you know, think of. Like a sketch. Let me write a sketch. It's a sickness. I'm like, con- it's it's almost annoying. And especially in the environment that we're living in today, it's like a new app comes out every day that you have to start posting on or you can <sighs> never do enough clips in a day. I hate the amount of times I have to think about threads. Like, I'm like, wh- why am I thinking? About- I don't need to do this. TikTok, I'm sure it was getting super hot. Like when, um, yeah. right around the time you were graduating, right? Yeah. TikTok was huge right before I graduated and I didn't think it was going to take off and it fucking did and it took over and I'm, I like to announce that I'm two weeks clean. Of TikTok? Yeah. What do you mean clean? You, I'm not you're on, like addicted been on, to it? I'm addicted. I was addicted. How many hours a day? I'll, I'll did you have to set time. a did you have to set a timer? I did. I did too. Yeah. But did you click like remind me in fifteen minutes? And I then he was like, "Come on, remind me in fifteen yeah, minutes again. Come on, one more fifteen minutes." <laughs> and then it's like, "All right, rest of the day, we're doing it." <laughs> and it's annoying when they TikTok has built in videos. It's like, "Hey, you've been scrolling a long time. Um, would you like to stop scrolling?" It's like, "Wait, Fuck wait, you, wait, bitch. wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? You got to the <laughs> algorithm point where you were scrolling so much that they told you to get yeah, off? Uh huh. They have a pre made ad. Some girl is like, "Hey, you've been scrolling a long time. Remember to get some water. Like, it's I'm like you." Cut. It's you like know Netflix. what the you know you know what the trick yeah, yeah 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 are you yeah. still here yeah the trick is to i guess when you're going to bed is like have that battery at like 10 percent. then you just have like 20 25 minutes scrolling yeah. and then your phone dies you put your charger on the other side of the room no i don't have yeah time. i don't have a charger in my bedroom maybe for that reason but also like i have it in my computer my computer is way faster than the wall charger yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good little trick i think oh, that is a great trick you know i'm just not disciplined i have no discipline no you could it just take yeah. that you have to get the distractions away out of your face. That's like when people try and eat healthy, like you can't have Oreos and cheese. It's and all these crazy snacks in your cabinet. If you're yeah. trying to change something, you know, it's like, it's so close. You work out a lot probably, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What do you go to the gym? Yeah. I go to the gym and I run, which I've started implementing, I guess within like the last 10 months, I'm running like almost every single day. I'd say like out of 30 days, dit, 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 probably like, 26 or 27 days. Oh my I'm God. Running and going to the gym, but I feel better. It makes me feel better. Yes. And I know. I know it's yeah. going to feel better. And then the diet better. too. I yeah. think like we're learning so many things that people have already kind of discovered. They're like, all right, do this and you'll feel better. While it sucks, <laughs> like oh, uh, afterwards you feel better. I, yeah, I totally you know? agree. I know I'm depressed and I know that exercise would help. Yeah. I know it would probably fix me, honestly, but I just can't. It would definitely help. To. I love yoga though. So that definitely helps. I know. Every time I can get a class pass situation going. I'm oh yeah. I used to up. do class pass, but yeah. then I was, I was over it. Dude. I did it with my ex-girlfriend years ago. You love it though? I mean, I love Soul Cycle. Let me tell you something. Okay, you're big Soul Cycle. You know who I saw today playing tennis oh. on the West Side Highway? Maybe you'd guess by me saying that. No, maybe I don't know. Did he do Soul Soul Cycle? Aiken? Aiken? You know him? Yes. Okay, so I played tennis with him like 12 years ago. Wow. He was a big Soul Cycle guy, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. I totally get it. The cult of soul cycle. <laughs> yeah. I'm in I, I, was doing, I was doing it for a little bit, but it was just like having to go somewhere to work out. And then the process is obviously such a New York city. I feel like mindset, like, Oh, it takes too long to walk there. You know, like yeah. people in LA would drive 30 minutes to soul cycle, then 30 minutes back shower there probably or something yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. I, the greatest thing about Soul Cycle is the motivation that there's so many hot white <laughs> women in there that I'm like, fuck you, you think yeah, you're better than me, you fucking yeah. bitch, because you have long legs and okay, I'm short. What was fuck the, you. What was, the, what was the other one where they have the stats on the screen? Like, oh, flywheel. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. That's toxic. That was a little. <laughs> <laughs> that's truly abusive. Yeah. That's literally. so. But that's a great way to get people motivated. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Seeing like if you're the top scorer up there. Yeah. Who's at the bottom? Oh, Tracy. Pick yeah. it up a little bit. I Tracy. wonder. I wonder if it's as hot as it was. Like, like uh, five to seven years ago, maybe just because like I'm not doing it, I don't think it's as hot. But there's definitely like cold si- soul cycle. Like you walk in, like hi Rachel, how are you? Or, hi yeah. Fernando, you're oh here every God, day, you know. So like funny. yeah, you just get like the <laughs> like that community vibe. Like if you go to the same uh, coffee place, yeah. they know your name, so it feels good. Yeah. But then at some point, I'm like, eh, I don't want this guy knowing all my business. That's why I like living in a doorman building in new york city people stress it so much they I want know, a doorman for security but like at the same time i don't want freaking ray knowing that i'm coming home at like 2 a.m with a seven you know what i'm saying <laughs> well, like, it's embarrassing. i usually hit him then, tens yeah, at the park literally. every time and then the next night he's like oh dead that was an upgrade from last night like, dude <laughs> oh is this your girlfriend dude. yeah um no yeah that's my girl who's a friend 
Um, Those are the wrong name. But those, come on, those guys have to know. It's just, they know everything about you. Their packages too. And like, I watch this podcast with Theo Vaughn and this garbage man talking about how the garbage guys know everything about you, especially living in the suburbs. You know what I mean? I wonder what they know about. They probably hate us at my house. We have a lot of trash. A lot of trash. Produce a lot of trash. My family. (laughs) Do you have uh, siblings? Yeah, I have two sisters and a brother. How old are they? My brother is... Uh, nineteen. My sister just little sister turned Careful, eighteen. Don't touch that so much, I'm making a little. Oh yeah, noise. you're right. Go ahead. My brother's nineteen. My sister just turned eighteen, and my older sister just turned or is turning twenty nine. Okay, so you got a pretty wide array. It's all from your same parents. Um, no, me and my sister have different dads, but the younger two with my stepdad and my mom. Okay, and they live in Georgia. Mm-hmm. My brother got into Princeton, so he moved to New Jersey. Bra. We smart. Just me and him, the other two. Also. Princeton? Yeah, I know. It's annoying. Good for him. I take a little bit of credit for it. Okay, would you say that Princeton is the number one school in the country? I feel like kids who go to Princeton have got to say that, right? I mean, I, my brother does not love it there, I'll tell you what. But uh, I think Harvard actually Interesting. Is. Well, yeah, or you could say maybe MIT. Yes. Stanford, if you're yeah. saying that. But, I mean, it's up there. It's definitely yeah. top three or four. I think it is. I think it's the, and it's fucking gorgeous. I love that place. Yeah, wait, why doesn't he love it? He just, I don't know, he just doesn't like the, he's just not used to being around that many, because he got a full ride, that boy. So he's not used to these rich people. I know. Isn't that crazy? He's Bro, so yeah, I mean, you got a full ride too. Let's but that's out real. of state to an Ivy League school. That's insane. I that's why. What does he do? He like, after school, what did he do? Read 10 books, started rowing. He's like a rock climber. <laughs> speaks eight languages. Well, he's gay, so that's part of it. <laughs> okay. uh, the application, they were like, yes, sir. Get yeah, he's like, boy. yes. <laughs> yeah. Human Slime ass says yes. <laughs> that's great, dude. Good for you, ma'am. Whatever your name is, if, we, if we're digging into, we, that's really great. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. But what year is he? He's um he it's his freshman year. Oh okay. Yeah, so he just got there like this. Past. Is he you know, what? Is he gonna transfer to Harvard or something? No way. I don't think he. I don't know. He might transfer but if it's to his, Georgia because he does. He kind of homesick. He's he's uh, the baby. He's the only yeah. boy. Oh, my okay. parents baby him. But oh my gosh. Well, I used to get homesick all the time. That's funny. I actually went to a, a tennis camp one time in Lawrenceville for two weeks. Where is that? I think that's in Georgia. New Jersey. No, no, no. Oh. Was there in Lawrenceville, oh, Georgia? Oh, I'm from Lawrenceville, Georgia. That's where I, my family lives. Hilarious. I've been there my whole life. I know. That was weird. Lawrenceville. There is one in New Jersey. Okay. So yes. I went to a tennis camp there for two weeks and like every day, those guys were trying to make me take my ADD meds. I was like, guys, stop. <laughs> I don't want to take it. And I was homesick. It was a crazy time in my life. But yeah, I've never liked being away from home. I went to sleepaway camp for three and a half weeks and every day I was like, all right, get me out of here. I, I don't really like this. Do what? Sleepaway yeah. camp? Wow. Do you ever think about going abroad? Was that an option for you at Georgia? You know what's fucked up is that um, I I was going to the Cannes Film Festival for my study abroad in um, May of 2020. That was like the scheduled my study abroad. But you were going to go after you graduated? Technically, if I just didn't take this one credit class, then I could actually graduate over the summer. But they let me walk in in May just so that I could go to France. That's great that they were going to allow you to do that, though. Yeah, right? I think that they let a lot of people walk in May if they have, if they're doing like a study abroad that's going to finish over the summer. And, and it was a mini one; it was like a three week one because it's for the Faust oh festival. Oh my! I know that would have been cool. Yeah. Well, in the future, you'll get to go and be in it. That's what I always said, but yeah. I have not written a thing, baby. No, 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 no. Well, you know, <laughs> time will time will allow that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's oh. like when I have uh, things where I'm like, oh, maybe I should have gone up to that guy and said what up or something. I'll be like, ah, whatever. I'll see him at another time. That's true. Like the Winklevoss twins. You know those boys? <laughs> you saw Artie okay. Army Hammer and his so, Army oh, Hammer? yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's a killer, huh? <laughs> yeah, Army he Hammer. eats people. Oh, he eats Sexy. people. So that is hot. Huh? Yeah, eat yeah, me, baby. That That's is. what I'm talking about. I, that experience. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the Winklevoy twins, I guess they're in a lawsuit because of their crypto, but I saw them. Oh, I have a bitch. Should I ruin it? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, so I saw them like a year and a half ago on the West Side Highway, like right after I bought some Bitcoin at 60000 I was like, Bitcoin at one milli, boys. And they're like, yeah. yeah. And then I saw them like two weeks ago. I was like, fuck these guys. Dude. <laughs> you know, when Bitcoin was at like 24000 whatever. <laughs> Um, but I forget why I just men- mentioned that, but I don't know either, but that's that interesting. Well, okay. So this being new year's day, yeah, I think it, it might be appropriate. Cause I like, like we were just talking about, um, you're like, I should have said hi to that guy, you know, and it's like can and stuff like that. Like your regret. Oh yeah. That's stuff. why. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how we got there, baby. Sure. Um, yeah, I think that like, I have a lot of things I want to do differently this year. Like a lot, like almost everything in my life I want to do differently. What's one thing that's glaring. Do you think I got to sleep? Ooh. I don't sleep because I'm dating someone who stays up until all fucking night. Playing video hard. games or what? No, he just doesn't sleep. Is he reading too? No, he's just hanging out. 
<laughs> he's not even doing nothing productive. Wait. He's not even reading. Is he on his phone though? Yeah. You're both on your phone in the bed. Yeah. You gotta cut that out. I know. It's no bad. more chargers in the bedroom. I know. Maybe that could be the first start for you. Yeah, no true. chargers in the bedroom. Yeah, you're right. I, that's what I need to do. But I think that's a huge help also for you guys listening who are super addicted to your phone. No chargers in the bedroom is really, really got to help. If you think about it, <coughs> you look at your phone, you're like 10%. It's 2.30 in the morning. Uh, okay, we got another 20 minutes. Oh, my God. I stay up so fucking like, late. Like, what time do you go to bed? Like 4 a.m. for no reason. You know what I've been doing? That's because I've been off of work for like two weeks because it's been Christmas. But I'm going to bed at 4 a.m. And I'm I'm trying to go to bed at 1. I get into my bed at 1. I don't sleep till 4. And you know what I've been doing? This is really bad. Toxic. Terrible. I've been, okay, so I uh, just turned 26. So for most of this year, I was 25. Okay, <laughs> that's how that works. Classic. <laughs> and uh, that's when I first started watching porn was this year in like July. I fought porn for the very first fucking time. Isn't that crazy? I've been having sex for like a while, but I have never watched porn. Why? I, oh, I have, I've always thought porn was not for me. I was like, there's nothing good on this. And then I discovered, wait a minute, there are quite a few good things on this. I don't, and I'm, I have a lot of shame. I hate my body. I know, like, I didn't masturbate before this year, and I finally am like all about it now. Why was this so late? Was this something your boyfriend like had told you about? I don't know. I think that I just, I just like was uncomfortable with myself. I was like, why would I want to fuck myself? I hate myself. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I don't want to touch myself. But then at a certain point, I was like, I, I had what I call a feral weekend. One weekend, I was just like really, really horny for some reason. And then I got on field and I made bad decisions. I started swiping on everybody and being like, well, you want to fuck tonight? Wait, what were some of your kinks though? Um, submissive, field, but yeah. not really. Cause I think that people take it a little too But that's far. what you have to put on field, that's what right? You have, to put, you have to like generalize things. Yeah. I never met up with anybody though. I just like, I was like, I'm so horny. Show me your dick. Like I, my opening line was, send me a dick pic. I wanted to do a couples thing like them and then i just show up i like to be the guest star a guy and a girl yes wow yes i was looking for couples but it never happened it never happened it almost happened this really hot 40 year old couple <laughs> like they were hot but they yeah. looked like mature but how did you meet them they have a joint profile mm -hmm. you can connect if you're dating you can be like like you're scrolling and you see like cameron and then it says his partner is michelle click her page but does it say what they're looking for yeah and if they're on it together, that they're what were together. what were they looking for? They were looking for someone like myself. Yeah, uh, someone that they could. I honestly sounds like grooming now that I think about it, but someone that they could like, like I don't know, teach. I think, and like they and they were really into the fact that I'd never done that before. They were like, "Let's meet up. We can show you some things." How close did you come to meeting up with them? We were supposed to FaceTime. I never did. So. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, it could have been fun, maybe. It if you were interested fun. at the, that particular time. I think I would. I think that would be the next thing I do is a couple because I want to be the guest star. So how do you feel about porn now? Love it. Can't get enough of it. And I'm staying up too damn late watching porn. Yeah. A lot. Because I'm specific. So I'm watching like 40 videos and I'm like, none of yeah. these are good. And then right, I finally right, right, find right. one. Right. You keep scrolling through the, to the good parts. You're yeah. like, I don't need to see this guy deliver her pizza. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I do want to see actually. <laughs> oh, like, really? Wait a minute. Yeah. You like the plot and the storyline? <laughs> I like to see the foreplay. I like to see how they got here. But you like the scene, like getting up to the foreplay? No, like, it's really right. bad acting. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, takes me out I mean. of it. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I like it like a. But if there's a pizza delivery guy, I'm watching. That's probably funny as hell. That's probably hilarious. Right. I like the silly is so ones. bad. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the really silly That's ones. interesting because I feel like for me, for the most part, I've never really talked about porn on this podcast, by the way. So thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. Uh, but I am just like, a, I'm just like watch it and kind of get over with. And then like if I'm supposed to go on a date with someone or I find someone attractive on like a dating app or something and I'm like, should I text this person? I'll just watch porn. And then five minutes later, I'm like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> so porn for me is like, I think really, I think it's good. I think, I think it's, it's great. Yeah. I mean, I, I love it, but I do think maybe I'd take it too far because I'm staying up super late. Yeah. I think I'm getting a little bit of an addiction to it. Yeah. Well, that's that's not a good part. It's terrible. And a lot of people get addicted to it. I I've love. heard. I get it. I get why all these guys that I was dating, I was like, you guys are fucking sick in the head. Yeah. There's so many guys that I've been on dates with that it takes something really specific to, for them to like finish. And I'm like, you are so depraved because you've been watching porn your whole life. Sure. That now you can only come to one specific weird thing. Yeah. There's so that many guys weird. like that. And now really? I really, yeah. 
Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get it. It's Just because, I mean, people see things and they're like, oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> and I, I wonder if, if um, over the next, I don't know, five to 10 years, it's going to make relationships even more difficult, you know, like because we have distractions like Instagram. People can just slide in your DMs and be like, yo, what's up, girl? And then if you're with somebody else, I mean, it's like, well, is this guy as good as this person who's sliding into my DMs? It's Totally. I, that's why I don't want to date. I want to just be with one person uh-huh. and just let that hopefully that lasts as long as it does so I don't have to date anybody else. Right. What was dating like in college for you? I had a boyfriend for five years. Yeah, we met when I was a junior in high school and we were dating until I was like a junior in college. He went to Georgia also? No, he went to another school, but he was close enough. He was physic. We would hang out really only on the weekend at a certain point. Yeah. We were dating way longer than we should have. We were probably supposed to be dating maybe two years was fun. And then the next three were like, what are we doing? How long was that drive? Did you go to Emory or something? It was like 30 minutes. No, it was like 40 minutes. It was like a small school. But you would see each other every weekend? He'd come over to my place. Yeah. How was that dealing with long distance relationship in school? Well, it was fine. We just like have, we just like, cause I, we started dating so young. We totally grew apart and like our personalities were completely not wow, compatible yeah. oh anymore. My God, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was ter- he did not like anything. He did not like to do anything. Like he wanted to stay home and play video games. He was addicted to video games. How many hours a day was he playing at some point? I would say maybe <laughs> like if he's sleeping for eight, he's working for eight. I think the other eight, he's probably, is that right? Maybe. Yes, eight times three is 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other eight are probably spent, maybe six are spent playing video games and two are spent shitting, showering on his phone. Uh, where's your family from initially? El Salvador. Oh my gosh, have you been back since? I went for the first time last year. So was it a little bit relatable when I was talking about Bitcoin or no? Not at all, baby. <laughs> Did you use Bitcoin down there? Is no, it like, I didn't. I thought for the most part it was pretty adapted to the currency, right? Yeah, but... Uh, we just use American dollars. So they what's the that. so what's the big hype with El Salvador and Bitcoin? I don't know. It's amazing. It's cause the Honey, I got no <laughs> idea. I'm dumb as hell. But then, I don't know anything about Bitcoin, but I do know that he's fixed the country. And maybe that's related. How? So there's a lot of gang violence in El Salvador. It was like a very dangerous place. My family left in the 80s because of the gang gang wars christmas at my this year by the way my this is such a girl story girls are always like let me do this and this and this anyways this uh this year at christmas my dad is talking about all these people who were shot and murdered in front of him like i'm like this is christmas like we're all gathered around talking about like the most horrific things he's ever seen in his life and we're all just like okay should we open presents like it was it's a weird vibe but it was a really uh dangerous place and so now what they do is it's fucked up what they do, actually. But if you look like you're in a gang, they just put you in jail. Well, is it maybe if you have, like, gang tattoos? Yeah, but you don't have to have gang tattoos. Just a tattoo. Like, if it's, like, a flower, fine, whatever. But, like, if you have... As an American, when you travel to El Salvador, and they, if you have a weird tattoo, they'll follow you. Like, if they have a tattoo that looks like you have gang affiliations, they'll follow you and ask you and detain you and shit. So that's what it was, but it fixed the country. Was your dad, I mean, why did your dad see all that? <laughs> because that's just what was, uh, there was a war in the 80s where the gangs were, it was a, a civil war. There was like It was like the drug fighting. dealers versus the government? Sort of, but I don't know that there were even drugs involved. Gangs would, okay, so from what my dad was saying on Christmas, gangs would just take over entire towns and be co-op to people's houses and be like, you owe me rent now. You owe me money now. It's, so like, it's mob like mob shit. Yeah, for stores, yeah. but like going houses. Yeah, but they were like, like dumb kids savage. who had guns and they just shot everybody. Everybody died. A lot of people died. It was yeah, a bad I was time. Say, that just felt like Trump. A lot of people died. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we were doing or no? <laughs> kind of. I, I find myself slipping into Trump because I do miss him a little bit. Yeah, but right? uh, I find myself the slipping into him. The reality it's too TV much. show. Yeah. I, I, think we'll, I think we'll get him back in, an, in, in a year or so. We'll, so we'll see. I, uh, well, I know, I've been watching The Real Housewives and uh, they a lot of them go on the Celebrity Apprentice and they like they go, I cut that Donald Trump check, honey. Oh, they say right. shit like that well, all do you the, watch time. the Oh, you watch the Georgia one. Atlanta is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah. good. She's the best. It's her. It's Do you best. ever watch Jersey Shore or no? I'm, there's like 15 seasons of all these shows. It's really overwhelming. Yeah, so I, I'm I focused on Atlanta. And yeah, then yeah. after that, I'm doing New York. Um, Right when Jersey Shore was coming around, was like, I think it was right before I was going to college or like maybe the first year 
uh, that I was in college was like the first season. Oh. And it was like the, I mean, it was the first big reality show like that. And oh, the, it was with insane. Snooki and all of them? Well, yeah, that's when Snooki like got punched in the face and that's what really made it huge. I loved Jersey Shore. I watched yeah. it a lot as a kid, which too young. But I yeah, was, yeah, I think I so. I didn't get some of the things that we were talking about. Right, right, right. Well, it was just like they got drunk. They went to Karma, that club, <laughs> which, by the way, got uh, torn down the other day. That's a little real estate news for you. <laughs> yeah, what, what came up on my TikTok? I read about it. <laughs> oh, okay. I read about it. That's what everybody <laughs> says in the these news days, now. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have uh, the New York Times subscription it. on my phone. I read headlines all day. Don't read oh, no articles. good for you. <laughs> yeah. I have tried to before, but every time they're like, no, oh, you want a monthly pass, $6.99? I'm like, huh. Eh. All monthly pass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> they did this thing um, in the beginning of the year where it was um, the subscription for $6 for the whole year. Oh, so that's, that's what a I good did. deal. Yeah, because back in the day they were selling uh, Sunday Times for like two fifty or something like that, and then I think during the week it was like a quarter. Maybe yeah. it wasn't two fifty, but yeah, I, I like it a lot, but I don't read it. But I do like to know what's up. Yeah, what's happening? Do you subscribe to any anything else like that? Newsletters? No. This like no world. what's what's something maybe that people wouldn't know about you that like maybe is nerdy about you and like smart people stuff that you do like you get the 10 best books every week on like a, a mailing list or what i play the wordle and i play the sudoku and yeah, the crossword puzzle I feel like everybody does that except for me really everybody's playing wordle except for well, me wordle. did you get wordle today in three tries wordle had its moment for sure oh it's not around anymore? it is but people were really annoying about it yeah. people were like i'm like did what you, did you get wordle today yeah ugh. oh Ugh. and that's My new york times drying up. <laughs> oh so i guess that's why people would get the subscription to new york times yeah right, to play wordle yeah oh makes sense yeah <laughs> never really thought about that <laughs> i'm more of like a fruit ninja guy I love Sudoku and Fruit Ninja. Let me Fruit tell you, Ninja's tight. That's tight as hell. But you probably ne you probably never played Mini Clip uh, Bubble Trouble. No, that sounds fun. Do you know what, what I'm talking it? about? No. Bubble Trouble was like you had like the aliens and you go doo, 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 and then you shoot the barbed wire at a uh, bubble that was coming in. It was like do do do. That sounds fun. Is it on the is it on it the iOS app store? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it. No, it's not. It was a desktop game. Oh, that's what it was. Which you probably never had. I did. My family was behind the times. Or you had a Mac, like an orange one or something, right? No, we had a <laughs> we had a Dell or something. We had a computer room. A computer room. Yeah, in our house yeah. growing up. My family was a little bit behind the times because Hispanic people are a little bit behind the times. <laughs> How do you mean? Every meme that we have, like, like one from last five year. years ago, they're using it and they're just figuring out they love that shit. Like me gusta, you know what I'm talking about? I like. Yeah, like that guy, a stick okay. figure guy with like the face. He makes that weird face and he's, and he's like me gusta. Yeah, he's popping. All right, we'll pop it up right here. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you'll, me, you'll, you'll pop it up. Me gusta guy. Me gusta guy. Yeah, okay, he's pop up pop that up. and then the hot girl from before. <laughs> yeah, hot math girl. I, oh, what's her name? I, I am love yoga. Math. Oh, I don't know. I, I think that's yoga. Wrong. I am math. I am yoga. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> but oh, uh, so we were behind the time. So we had a desktop and a lot of my friends like grew up with the internet a lot more than i did because like we didn't have wi-fi forever did you play sims i have sims on my phone i just downloaded it wait you can play it on your phone mm -hmm. when did you download it like two days ago i was on the plane interesting remember i was just calling out your town in georgia lawrenceville and now the sims how is the mobile version of sims because the i can't imagine it could be it's, it's not as good up it's it kind of sucks but uh -huh. But I like to hear them talk. It makes me feel good. Oh. Like, like there's people around. They're like, bzzzz, do, do. And oh, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to do creepy shit in The Sims when I was playing on the desktop. <laughs> kill a baby. You know, I mean, I would I would try and remove the shower when they were taking a shower so I could see them naked. Because I heard there was like a, 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 a shower. Yeah. You pervert. But then also I would do like dark shit. Like I'd put them in the pool and then i'd remove the <laughs> the ladder to get them out up. <laughs> swim around yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah literally and then you could just like fast forward and then they're swimming in it for like a full day and yeah. then it just says like this guy has died and then it just has like this stonehenge and then that wasn't it's enough fucked. for you and then you had yeah, to and go then out I and did kill the, i did the, yeah in real life <laughs> yeah. i did the cheat codes too where you like get more money or unlimited money yeah uh, but that was a fun game. Played like backyard baseball and stuff love. like that you, yeah yes fan love. of that like pablo sanchez your boy yes Okay. Pete Wheeler. I like um Kesha. I like baseball. Oh, okay. I don't know that much about baseball, but I do like baseball. I'm I just like I started going to baseball games and I'm like, this is the shit. This is better than football games. This is better than I've never been to a basketball game. It's my, okay, you gotta go. It's fun. Um and Georgia basketball is I well, I guess. Well the Hawks, right? they had we had our moment, the Hawks. Um Atlanta Hawks, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, do you went to a baseball game with your dad or how'd you go? When'd you go? My No, my friend took me to a Yankee game like two years ago. Oh, that's fun. Like, this is the shit. That's so interesting and because it was a Red Sox game. sometimes it's too freaking long and they've shortened it a little bit. I don't know if you've heard about that. Um, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. So they added a, a pitch clock and there are a number of other rules that have been implemented to just make the game go faster because yeah. sometimes you're sitting there in the dead heat of summer for three and a half hours <laughs> just getting strictly tan on like your on your forearm you know yeah. I mean? yeah. um, so I went I went to a game this past summer but um, it was noticeably shorter but still for me it was a little bit long so I picked uh, for me I, w I played uh, college tennis yeah and for me it was picking between baseball and tennis and the reason i picked tennis was because like i was so annoyed when people would mess up in baseball and it wasn't my fault i think you tennis know? is a really like you gotta go to the u.s open i gotta go yeah yeah i think go. yeah that's a hot move actually to Definitely. pick tennis over baseball thanks i appreciate that yeah, yeah, yeah. but um <laughs> i think it's also helped me uh realize that you got to do things by yourself to succeed or not succeed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, right, right. Like, I'd be on the court and i miss a ball. I'd be like, fuck. And then if I was on court and I hit, like, a winner, which is, like, a shot that the other person didn't touch, I'd be like, all right, let's go. That's which true. Kind of the same shit. Damn, you're, like, carrying. What? Okay. I don't know that much about astrology, but yeah. are you, like, a S Capricorn? No. Why? I was given that? Yeah, Scorp. Yeah, you're giving me a cap. But do Capricorn and Scorpios, is that kind of the same thing or no? No, I'm a Capricorn. Oh, okay. It just seems like you're really like determined and like, yeah. you're like, I, I got, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself kind of thing. <laughs> what month is Capricorn? Um, December and January. I thought, oh, it's, it's also Sagittarius, right? That's mm -hmm. like the beginning months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just seem like a really grounded kind of guy. Like uh, yeah, well, there was a period of time in my life when I was not. Okay. I was just like all over the place, eating McDonald's, doing too many drugs. Oh, right. I changed. I got um, I got jaw surgery here, and it changed like my whole life. I broke up with the, my girlfriend, who I was. Uh, we had such a great relationship, but like she was just she was young. She was not the one for me, and uh, yeah, my whole face. I went vegan. Oh started my god! To focus in Why did you get jaw surgery? Because I had TMJ. You ever heard of that? Right. Yeah. Uh, I like think one I have side that. of my face was growing further than the other. That was pretty bad for me. What well, do you like? Your jaw clicks sometimes yeah maybe this mic picked it up go closer closer push it <laughs> you hear that <laughs> is that the mic or your jaw maybe we hear that i don't know but that's my job <laughs> <laughs> but some people to help that out i guess would get like night guards or something yeah but i had it really bad where like i went to the orthodontist after not seeing him like 10 years after i had braces and he was like bro your jaw is fucked and i never even noticed and then i started looking back at pictures and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> you're lopsided no i'm still like i was still like you know i was still a fine looking young man but i was just like <laughs> you're like jim carrey in the mask yeah yeah yeah, literally <laughs> that was me but um changed my whole trajectory on life because like for three for three months for real i cannot chew or eat food my face was swollen it was crazy and then you broke up with your yeah, girlfriend because yeah. you i couldn't talk so like two and a half three weeks after I broke up with my girlfriend. I legitimately couldn't talk. You know when you're like trying to make a relationship work? Like yeah. in the situation where you were dating that guy for five years, but you said two years it was good. If you had jaw surgery and you couldn't talk to him, you're like, bro, I just need to be alone. Please oh leave me my alone. God, like yeah. I'm sitting here on the couch and you're like, I just need to be alone. Wow. Are you yeah. dating now? Uh, no, no. I mean, like I would potentially, but I'm not. Perfect. Not right now. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, perfect. perfect. <laughs> yeah, I've... Uh, I yeah, don't want to date. Obviously, I want to stay with someone or be single. But I don't want to date. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it's so much time. That's why you know, going back to what we we're talking about, sometimes porn is good. You don't need to waste an evening, be hungover, waste money. Yeah, it's a whole fucking thing. But thank God I'm a woman, though. I'll tell you what, because that's fun for me. I'll tell I you what. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Like I, I do you like do that like pasta, that. and I do like them drinks. Yeah, honey. I mean that's a great part about being a woman. But you know, they're obviously very difficult parts about being yes. a woman. And you know, same thing with men. I'd say. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you think it's more difficult to be a woman than a man? No, we will we'll never probably, know. It's Pinch. probably you guys kill themselves more, so I think it might be. A Ooh, bad. that was insanely deep. <laughs> yeah. That was so true. Yeah, yeah, they do. So people get to such dark places and don't pull themselves out. It's that's a where slippery it slope. Yeah, I've been, I've been so my relate like I've been really fucked up for a long time because my family was so dysfunctional when I was young. But they got their shit together, but it was like at that point I was like sixteen, so I was like I was already fucked up, 
And so I've been through so many ups and downs of like being like, I'm never getting pulled out of this. It takes literal years to pull out. It's a slippery slope. Especially, I'm sure, when you're young, right? Yeah. But no, as an adult, it's way harder for me now. Think? I just like slip into depression and it takes so much work to get me out of it. And it takes a long time. And then I give up because I'm like, it's not working. But so my little brother is a little bit depresso and I'm trying to get him to nip it in the bud. Like I'm like, oh, no, honey, you cannot just sit and stew. Like I'm trying so hard to make sure he doesn't have to do what I did. But I think he's going to have to do it on his own. Well, it's also difficult to be in a situation like that where you're already unhappy. I'm sure he's working so freaking hard. He's not seeing the sun as much as somebody who lives in El Salvador or yeah. uh, Miami does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's true. I feel like waking up in the morning sometimes, like even in Miami, like my dad talks about how easy his life is down there because yeah. he's a successful guy and he's, you know, over 60 years old. He's done well. Yeah. But besides that, just like going outside and being able to see the sun and like working out like your day is already starting off oh, better. When like sometimes we wake up here in New York and it's 30 degrees, it's dark out. You know, the, the night before, maybe you were on TikTok too late. Yes. So New York uh, is a depressed city. Yeah. And I think like you can uh, allow your mind to get out of that if you're focusing on like maybe doing something uh, to better your career. Totally. But uh, it's definitely got to be tough for but kids stand in college. up depresses me a lot too. Well, okay. One more thing about my brother and I'll stop talking about him. But the, the he used to get himself into these tizzies in high school. He would be like, freaking out over an essay he has to write and like crying and stressed about it and he didn't even go to my graduation because he was like i'm i have to study so he was like yeah he wasn't he was very so he fucked himself up a lot like stressing about school and he aced everything so he would like stress himself to a point that he didn't even need i was like i was like it's not that serious like you have straight a's you have a 4.0 it is not like if you get a b on this essay your life is fucked up so I think that's what started it. And now he's just like at Princeton where everybody is like that. Everybody's smart as hell. Everybody's, you know, got money. He's going to school with Christopher Nolan's son. Did you know that? It's crazy. I mean, you didn't know that because you don't know my brother. No, but damn. <laughs> but it's so it's like that's uh, I'm, it's probably really hard, I think. And he's taking Chinese and that, that's got to be hard as hell. I can't take no Chinese. What are the chances he chances? I don't know. I'm worried about it. Because this is such a fantastic opportunity like, yeah. that no one in our whole family will like that's this is a peak, you know, because it's Princeton and he's getting a full, full scholarship. Yeah. So it's like, how many kids, how many kids do you think in his grade got full scholarship? There's a program that he's in that um, they all did. And they they're like, well, yeah. how many kids out of like, what is there? Two thousand per grade or. Less? Yeah, I think it's like two thousand. It, the, the group is very small. I think there's like 10 of them. And one of one other family is from El Salvador. My mom loves that. She's like, oh, oh just like us, baby. Squad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, we out the slums, honey. But, uh, That's great. I slip into Nene Leaks because I can't stop watching The Real yeah. Housewives. So I slip into her and Donald uh, Trump. What season are you on? I'm on and season Donald nine. Trump. Okay. And yeah. how many are there? Like 20. I'm not going to watch all of them. But you watch it on Bravo? Is that the yeah, network? Yeah, it's Peacock TV, but it's Bravo. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was it talking about depression? I'm sorry, that's probably too deep. But I, but no, 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 not at all. But um, I think about I think getting out of it. It's just you got to shake yourself and be like, all right, do something that will make you not be depressed. It's so fucking easy exercise. to say, so easy to say. Yeah, it's hard to do, but you well, just gotta do it. And it, if it doesn't work immediately, it's so discouraging. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that's like everything, right? Huh? Yeah, that's true. And especially in the industry that we're in. Like, you got to be in it for years. Oh, stand-up sometimes makes me depressed. Not stand-up, but me. I think maybe I'm doing what my brother did to school, but with stand-up, I'm like, ah, this is so hard. I have to get better right now. I have to write a good joke right now. I fucking, I get in my head. If I have a bad show, I'm like, oh, no. It's over because I'm a studious person. I have to do good. And it fucks me. I got to let go of that. I'm wanting to do good. And just do the art instead and do what I want to do. But it's you, hard when, but, you're, when right. you're wired already like that. But think about how you know what to do. I know I know what to do. It's crazy. I think we all kind of like, it depends how deep down it is. But like we all sort of know what to do. We know if that relationship's not working. We know if we're eating too much shit. We know if we're doing too much drugs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, know yeah. if we're doing things that are bad for us. But we just but won't just, admit it. We're, creature, <laughs> we're creatures of habit. That's true. I'd like to meditate. And That's great. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meditating how? How do you usually do it? I do a 10 minute guided meditation on yeah. YouTube as okay. soon as I wake up. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah. Honestly, the days I do it, I'm like, I was in a better mood that day. 
And then I don't do it for like a week and I'm like pissed off. I'm like, you know, I, I know what to do. Do you make your bed? No. Never. My parents never made me. I never did it. Should I make my bed? Try it. I think uh, one guy, one guy in the army was like, yeah, I read about it on TikTok. This guy was like, you want to change the world? He's like a um, Marines guy. So those are the hardest motherfuckers uh -huh. like in the country for sure. Um, he was like, if you want to change the world, start by making your bed. I was like, bro. Wow. Changed everything, huh? Yeah. I was like, bro. You want to go take a look at my bed? Yeah. Go ahead. Go okay. take a look. Okay. And then I'll, t I'll take a picture of it uh, okay. afterwards, but I get in there and like, it takes me probably like. Uh, it takes me probably like 30 seconds oh my or a minute Christine, to do. Oh yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. So I think just doing that in the, in the beginning of the day and then going outside, uh, it's helped. It's helped. It's yeah, been getting so sunlight. The first, like, I'm a Huberman chick right yeah, now. Yeah, okay. Huberman Labs, that podcast did insane this year. I think it was like number five. Okay, Let's see if I don't want to fuck it. up your headphones. Oh, never mind. There, oh, all right. She's got number two. Yes, there you yes, go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, Huberman podcast. What was that? Yeah, Huberman Lab. That guy just talks about. He's yeah, he's a guy who has just uh, who's talked about a lot of things that uh, I guess people are implementing. You know, doing the things that suck to make the rest of the day better. It's yeah. been like a self help podcast. You and I. I right like. Now. I like I it. Like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I need some help. <laughs> so I, I, I listen to affirmations in the morning. Like I'm just, I'm trying to fix the mental because, like, I just know that. But you know what? You it seems like you do a lot of things that are great for your overall well being throughout the day. It's just a matter of doing it every day. Huh? Totally. Yeah, and believing that it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Sorry that I've been so. No, you've been great. Weird. No, this is a terrific episode. We learned so much about oh, you. Funny. Uh, no, this was hilarious. We had some good moments for sure. You're Donald Trump. Yes, we had great yeah, yeah. moments. Yeah. Alejandra, thank you so much for coming on. Before Thanks, we get man. out of here, actually, were people annoying when Alejandro by Lady Gaga came out? Were they like they Alejandra? Still are. They still are. Yeah. Well, there I am wrapping up the podcast, being annoying. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in, Alejandra. Thanks for coming on. Uh, before we get out of here, uh, please let us know your Instagram. We're gonna pop it up right here. My Instagram is at Alejandra, A-L-E-J-A-N-D-R-A, J-R, not for Junior, but for Jimenez Rivas, because that's my last name. We look forward to seeing your trajectory in the future. Alejandra, thank you so much for coming on. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace.